It's really difficult for me to make this video and be fully transparent with you guys, but I want to have this connection with my subscribers where I'm just fully honest with how I'm feeling and the updates that's going in my life. And this is something that I thought you guys needed to know. And so long story short, what's been going on is that I haven't really been feeling myself and I've been going through a somewhat of an identity crisis and two videos ago or so I made a video on having an existential crisis and yeah, this is kind of related but also much worse. And it's just one of the worst feelings in the world to kind of look in the mirror and look at yourself but not actually see yourself. And I know that I'm going through an identity crisis because one very important thing has changed about me and that is that I've been wearing a lot of white. It all started when we had our first heat wave of the summer. I really tried to hold on to wearing all black and stay true to my identity, but I couldn't. I just, I simply couldn't. And at first I thought that I could just compensate by wearing white pants, but still wear black top. But I found that when I went shopping for clothes in person, I just started naturally gearing towards the all white section when before I would always just beeline for the all black section. And now, and now look at me. I don't even know who I am anymore. My addiction to wearing all white started when I bought my first white shirt and then the next and then the next and these three pieces of white clothing, which are the only white clothing I have in my closet, have really made me realize how much I have changed on the inside. Because I know that I am technically white on the outside, considering my vitamin D deficiency, but I didn't realize that I was also the same color on the inside. And the whole buying white clothes thing started off super innocently, like, oh, I want to color coordinate and I want to have a matching total all white look but then it just started getting out of hand. And this, this is the result of what happens when you're going through such a tough time. You just buy way too many white pants and white shirts. And I don't wanna belittle the situation that's happening in the world right now. I know that there are so many things that can be wrong and that I can attribute this identity crisis to. I mean, Potentially it could be the lockdown situation, potentially it could be that the world is falling apart, but I think it's something more than that. I think that there's something in me that is trying to feel light again when everything is so dark and this facade of being known as Dark Lydia is only making it harder. Do I think this is going to be the end of Dark Lydia? No. But I do have to admit that there are days when I go outside and I wear all white, but when it comes to filming YouTube, I stick true to wearing all black. So this is my first and only YouTube video where I'm wearing a white shirt. And in fact, I'm just gonna cover it with my long black hair so it's barely visible. So my lesson to all of you is to not let go of your identity but at the same time, don't try to hold on to an identity so hard that you lose yourself. For me, that was wearing all black and I'm starting to embrace the world of color, singular, as in black and white, nothing else. I mean, maybe a bit of red here and there as accent pieces, but Morticia Adams could never. The good news is that when you lose your identity, you rebirth into something bigger and better because I think you go through lots of chapters in your life and you just close them and open them and sometimes you change your outfit, sometimes you change your hair, sometimes you go through an emo phase, sometimes you don't even change at all. But usually the way you grow trends in an upward direction and so you have to just look at your past self and be like, it's okay, Lydia, it's okay. You're only going to grow from here. It's time to admit that you don't have to be so dark. I think it just took me a really long time to realize that on a more serious note, you don't have to prove a certain aesthetic to anyone and you don't have to prove that you fit into this perfect aesthetic to anyone. <sighs> I know the next question will be, have I sought out professional help? And the answer is yes. Yes, I did. I contacted All White Anonymous and all they responded to me was 
KKK. And that's when I realized that while this may be a really difficult ordeal, this is something that I have to go through on my own. I think I was trying hard to push this edgy image character and at one point I thought I was going to be covered in tattoos and wear ripped clothing and fishnets, but no. No, I will not be doing that because I want to be respected for being a classy, edgy young woman now and until the day I die, like Morticia Adams once again. This will probably be the only video on the internet of me wearing a white shirt, but if you guys like it enough and my little community here approves, then maybe, just maybe, it will happen again, although I'm really hoping none of you guys say that because that would just further push me down this rabbit hole, which is my identity crisis. And so, I just want to thank you all for being real, for being with me throughout this whole journey. You know, I started this channel when I was 21, and now I am 22, but a lot has changed in between those years of my life, and I am thankful for you guys for being so supportive through my very personal journey of how I'm evolving as a human being. I have something very special for you guys in my next video as a token of my gratitude, so I'll see you in my next video.